Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I started off this project with these birch wood pieces I bought off of Amazon. And using Waverly Antique Wax and a baby wipe, I stained each of the pieces. I used a total of nine birch wood pieces. To give the wood that stained look, you simply dip the baby wipe into the wax and rub it all over the wood. I did this to both front and back sides. Once the pieces were dry, I lined up seven of them in a row, trying to keep the edges as similar and as straight as possible. For the final two, these will be used to hold our seven sticks together. I took a pencil, made a mark where I wanted to cut it, took a pair of dykes, and scored the wood on either side, and simply snapped it in half with my hands, as the wood is fairly easy to break. Then I used a sanding block I got from Dollar Tree and just sanded off the rough edges. To glue the backing pieces down, I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue. The E6000 will give it a stronger, longer hold and the hot glue gives it an instant bond. I just simply ran a bead up each piece, then added my hot glue, tried to hold the seven sticks together and place the backings down and waited for them to dry. I felt the center of the board was a little flimsy, so I took one of the pieces that I had cut off from the back pieces and glued it to the center using the E6000 and hot glue. Now that the back pieces are set, it's time to embellish our board. I got this tiered tray coffee set from the dollar spot at Target. It cost $3. I'm only gonna use the coffee and the hug in a mug for this board. Once I figured out my placement, I used the same glue combination of E6000 and hot glue to stick down the mug and the coffee sign. How stinking cute is this? Now to add a little flair to it. I used some rub and buff in the color antique gold. This goes on very easy. I just put some down on some wax paper that I was using and simply took my finger, rubbed it into the rub and buff and went all over the board with it. Once I was done adding that quote unquote flair, I decided to use some jute and add a hanger to the back. I tied a knot in one end, glued it to one of the back pieces, then ran it across to the other side, tied another knot, cut off the excess, and glued it down. And there you go, a cute coffee sign that you can hang above your coffee maker. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share and like this video. And remember, you can always follow my page at Jenny of All Trades. We're also on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, stay crafty, and we'll see you soon. Bye.